how clouded are you? So, this is like my third or fourth time trying to make this video, and it's it's been a very emotional, emotional roller coaster of feelings. And you know, it's it's late, so I can't really yell. You know, I live with someone, so I can't really like go off <laughs> the way I want to. So, um, I'm gonna do, I, I need to just talk, and I need people to understand that. <sighs> I, I need, I need, I need, I need my brothers to understand that I, I love you. I, I love you. I care about you. Me and you, no matter, no matter where we are in life, whether it's in the streets or in school or at home, like I, like I love you. And as black men, I want us to be better. I don't want us to be toxic. I don't want us to be hurt because we are hurt. Toxicity is hurt. That's pain that causes you to lash out, to bark, to scream, to beat. And a lot of times it's not us. It's not us that we're doing it to. We're not, we're not hitting each other. I don't have bruises so I don't I, I, I'm a different I'm, I'm a different type of person but I'm a different type of nigga but I am definitely toxic because what I have what I have what the world may think is or what black men might think is a white man like the white white people voice or sense I don't it's, 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 it's crazy it's it's not sense it's it is sense, but it's not white sense. It is actually just common sense. And for me, I understand that my voice has more strength than my hands. Because I can say some stuff. I can really, I can hurt. And we can definitely hurt because you've seen plenty of men do it. From Dave Chappelle to fucking R. Kelly to shh. It's, it's across the board. I don't even have to give names, but <laughs> I did anyway. Um, <laughs> um, whether good or bad, it can, it can hurt. It can hurt. And us as black men, we've gone through a lot of pain of trying to prove ourselves and having to be the, be the man of the family and have to be that figure on the street and have to be that person to succeed and you know, make money and this and that and be strong and be tough. I know it. I know it. I've seen it. I've done it. It's just, it's just the way we've been bred. And I'm, and even though they like to call us niggas, because I ain't a nigga. I ain't a nigga. As much as they like to call us that, we are not that. I am an African American man. Human, human, oh. <laughs> it's crazy, I don't know. I guess Earthling, I guess hopefully by the time someone sees this in the future and they're like, they like a whole, it's like Earth is Earth. <laughs> they're gonna be like, these motherfuckers, they're humans. Y'all humans, what are you talking about? But let me get, let me not get off track because I've been doing that. <laughs> um, us as black men, we've been, we've been hurt whether uh, because of slavery, because of, you know, pain that we inflict on each other and others have inflicted on each other, on, on, each, on us. Us, we inflicted on them and them on us. <laughs> it's, 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 that's how you guys know I've been doing this a lot. That's how you know. Um, I want us to do better. I want us to do better, guys, because what I've been seeing on the news is not cool. Those black men, all those group of black men that just like watched and you know, just let let this black woman get thrown in the trash can. You guys are fucking ashamed. You guys should be fucking ashamed. And if I ever see you, I will fight you. Like, do not. If I if I find out who you are, I don't 
don't don't let don't let me know who you are. Don't just don't just don't just don't be around me. If God or whoever puts us in the same room, I will have words for you. Because for you guys to do that and then find it funny just to see, just to throw another human being, exactly what this video is called. Black men treat black women like white people treat black people. Or better yet, white men treat black people. Either way, black men, either way it goes, we treat our women like shit. And that's a shame because as a man who has to go out in this world, there's one thing that, oh, I, I have to make sure I, I'm not too aggressive. I have to make sure I'm not looked at as a weirdo. I'm not looked at as a threat. I'm not looked at as crazy, whatnot. I have to look at, at be looked at as a docile little puppy. And that's a lot because as an emotional, as a person that's a, a person that's a cancer, a person that has feelings that has grown up with, uh, with black women all my life, all my life, mom, sister, aunt, cousin, whole bunch of other women. I got, I, I have black women family. Like I can't even, my grandmother, my grandmother would punch me in the face if I had ever done something like that. If she had ever even heard that I was, that I was even laughing in the background. I, I, I really do. I really think that sweet old lady, bless her soul, would have punched me in my shit. <laughs> and I would have deserved it. So for those guys that did that, I hope you get busting your shit. And I heard something about you got like one of them saying like, oh, that's just how it is, you know? What the fuck? What are you talking about? What? But once again, once again, I can believe it. And that's and that's fun. And that's a shame. I, 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 I really am ashamed. You know those white people that were saying how they're ashamed? I, I am actually ashamed. I ain't got no script. I'm, I, I've done this so many times. It's just been an emotional roller coaster because I don't want to be too loud. I don't want to go crazy because I don't, as a, as just a regular young, young American that's trying to, try, young dude that's trying to live, I, I, I don't, I don't own this building. I don't own, I don't have a house. I don't have a mortgage. I can't just go out to my den or my backyard and start screaming and doing these videos like that. I, I don't have this, I don't have that. But I will have my voice be heard. And I will preach that I feel that we can, we can still change. We can. I really do think we can because We've done so much as far as the protests, as far as, you know, getting things in that. And all of us, whether you're a black cop or not a black cop, we all have a role to play in this. I, speaking of black cops, shout out to Miss uh, Cariel Horn. Miss Cariel Horn. Now that is a, that is a real black cop. That is a real woman, that is a real human being, that is a real American. That is a real police officer. She, if you don't know her, I suggest you go after this video or stop it right now because what I'm saying is gonna is gonna be here. But this 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 woman, this mother, this mama that we be calling every other person who don't really deserve to be called mama, she put her herself at risk to um, protect, uh, uh, protect a black man, a 50 year old black man. They could have been my dad, could have been your granddad, could have been your dad, could have been you. Could have been your, your nephew, could have been your grandpa, could have been anyone. She went against a fellow police officer, a white man and got wrongfully fired. For it.
thank you. Thank you, Miss Horn. And she is fighting for her pension. So, you know, I'm gonna I'm a put the link down. I'm a, it's gonna be in the description. Definitely support her. I, I, I'm pretty sure because she was on The Breakfast Club, she probably already has the money, but I'll, I'll check him and if it's in there, if it's in the, <laughs> and down in there, it's, you might just see, you might just see that it's too late to uh, donate but hopefully she increases it because she definitely needs the help. It's gonna to go towards the Carol Law, which is going to help other black, and not even black, going to help other officers be able to protect the community. They won't feel afraid to be able to call out a, a, a snake, a rat, an ant, a piece of shit. They won't feel afraid to call out a piece of shit for being a piece of shit. I don't know if I might bleep this out, but I don't care. Um, so thank you, Ms. Carol, because you are the example of what a real, a real officer is, a real African-American police officer. And I'm so sorry that happened to you. God bless you, God bless your family. I hope you guys get every, I hope you get what's coming to you and what should come to you. And I don't know what that is, but whatever I can do, no matter what time in life, I will definitely try my uh, try my hardest to do it. But she's just a good example because she shows that even someone who we look at as the police, because a lot of police officers are messed up. They do do a lot of fucked up things, but that's because this system is created for it. <laughs> and all you leftists, just, just let you know, I'm just gonna laugh at you when you start blabbering off in the whatever comments. It, even If, if y'all see it, y'all don't. If, if not, it's just gonna be another amazing voice out in the world energy. I want this to be good energy put out into the world. So if no ignorant motherfuckers gets on here and sees this and has to comment and whatever, great. <laughs> but we, we're gonna change, we need to change because for us to see these cops as monsters and not think of ourselves as monsters is very hypocritical. It is very hypocritical. And that's that stuff ain't gonna happen anymore. This isn't this isn't the 1980s. Ain't the 1980s. Ain't the early 2000s. And the damn sure ain't the 50s, 40s, 30s, and 20s. You're going. We're things are going to be different. And it's not going to be me. It's not probably not going to be you. It's going to be someone else, or it could be all of us. Black men, we need to understand that we are toxic we are hurt hurt people hurt people not to give an excuse but we need to realize that we need to do what's right we need to change we need to be better i can't i can't help anyone else if i'm fucked up a crackhead can't get another crackhead off a of crack it don't even sound right <laughs> it don't even sound right i just I just don't know. I wanted, I wanted this. I, I want to. I want to be able to think that we can be able to be better, that we can be a greater people, and I want us to. I want us as people to realize that whether you're, you know, a man, woman, trans, whatever, gay, that we are all. We we can. We all can give out the same good and we can all give out the same evil but we need to we need to have some balance because I'm not going to say that we can we have to be all good because we all don't have to get along with each other we don't I don't I don't get along with a lot of people but I agree with them I don't get along with my girlfriend a lot but I agree with her a lot I realize that if anything happened to her, whether she slaps me or hits me or does whatever, that if something happens to her, I'm going, if I hurt her, I feel, I, I'm going to feel bad. I'm going to feel hurt because I had to, I had to put my hands, I had to enact pain just to, 
get my happiness, just to feel peace. And I'm not gonna feel peace doing that. I'm, I'm never gonna do it. But for me to have, for me to to have to do it because I would have to defend myself. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna tell you right there, baby. If you're watching this, I'm, I'm, I'm defending myself. So if you go crazy, <laughs> um, yeah, I, I don't even know. I don't even know where else to go. I don't even know where else to go as black men. We need to be better. Women, we need to realize. You can be just as fucked up because it's not just about us. I know this title says what it says, but like me as a black man or us as black men to, to hear our mothers tell us that you can get out of the house. You can go fend for yourself. You can go take care of your own self from our own mothers. And at their young ages, not even as grown men, to hear that, 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 that is very, that's very, that's very painting because it shows us, it makes us feel like we don't have that connection, that you don't, and this ain't, and this ain't, this ain't no personal stuff, this is just how all, all of us are. Because I know, I know whether you just hate your mama and if you just hate your mama, whatever, don't listen. But for all of us who has some sort of connection to our mother, to a woman, for you to hurt us, it's the same way, it's, it hurts the same way as when we hurt you. That's why I'm making this video. Because I'm taking responsibility and just putting it out there. Because I can't change None of you dudes. I can't change none of these guys. I wish I could. I'd be snapping my fingers right now. It wouldn't even be a video. We wouldn't even be talking about this, but I have to say this. So we are, we are fucked up as men. We do treat you women poorly, very, very poorly. We do. And it's a, and it's a damn shame because we could be like this. We could be tight like this. And this whole fight, we wouldn't even have to, it wouldn't even be no fight for civil rights. You wanna know why? It's called Tulsa. <laughs> Wall Street, Black Wall Street and Tulsa. They as black people came together, black men and black women, businessmen, workers came together Families came together, supported each other. That community, they supported each other and they grew. It took, I don't even, I can't even remember, but it was, it's way more than us. It takes us, the black dollar flows through our neighborhood in a week. Theirs took a couple months. I think, I think maybe there was some, some readings that said like, sometimes it was like a year, maybe half, definitely half until that money left the community. So we were circulating money. We were getting that together. We were helping each other. Mm. If they can do it, we can do it. Cause I said, I'm not gonna yell. I said, I'm not going to yell. Cause I need this, I need this video to have the right energy. And this is going to be a rant. If we're going to, if we're going to talk all this talk and convince white people that we are serious, we need to start doing something, actual something. I'm trying, I'm doing my part as much as I can, the power that I can, because I ain't got money. I'm trying to, I'm trying to get my money. I'm trying to be like all the rappers. I'm trying to be like all the lawyers and the doctors and I'm trying to be like all the entrepreneurs. But it's hard out there. And I at least want to make sure that if I leave this world, that my soul, that when people see, see me, they're gonna see that I at least had a good soul. Fuck the money, fuck the art, fuck all of that. If you can see that I am just a good soul, I will leave this world happy.
Because at the end of the day, I don't know what's on the other side. And I won't, I don't ever want to really have the discussion. Like, personally, I would, but not really. So, I just rather, I just rather just wait and just see. Live my life, do what I gotta do now. Make, make this life worth living. And hopefully, the other life is just as worth it. Whatever happens. So, I'm just, thank you guys. Thank you for whoever's listening. Thank you for whoever's watching. This is, this is, this has been very emotional. I'm glad it's very, it's been very therapeutic. It's been very therapeutic. And there might be more to come with this. There might be not. <laughs> I can't say I don't know, but yeah. <sighs> Keep your head out the clouds, y'all. Just, just get out the clouds.